leaving our sprints after nearly crikey it's been two and a half three months where you go is where I go. Um, eight, no, yeah. two months two months, mm. two months. Eight, well, i was nine weeks we left there so um yeah we're heading heading to uh hiding from here um which is where the wave rock are there's a few sites there to have a look at so we've got a couple of nights there then to perth and um see jeremy and helen then we're going to fly back and see the boys but um yeah this has been a fantastic spot we um we're just saying if you get a chance to come down this way and a sunny day with no wind it's um very pretty yeah sailing sailing boats a bit of a competition happening by there big ones too wow it is a place where there's a fair bit of wind so very conducive to sailing boat competition so Anyway, the adventure continues on the next spot, so Hyden. So it's a bush camp, um, and we can have fires. Uh, we're going to find some firewood. Oh, I must First of April, you can have fires. There you go. We, we just just scraped in there. Okay, so for now it's goodbye to Esperance, and um, we'll be hello to Hyden. I'll show you when we get there. Stopped to make a cuppa, and he's chopping trees down. Again now. Yeah. Here we go. Looks good. Ready for a fly tonight. Got the Rovi out. Haven't had that for a while. A new chain too. Holy moly. Makes a difference. Well. Good. Yeah, two nice fires. Two nights. These colours. So we stopped for a cuppa at Ravensthorpe. Oh, that's number three tea bag. It's a bit excessive, isn't it? Look. So breakfast time for Mrs. Well, it is another one o'clock. Oh, it's warm so, here. So, we're down for so we're going to have a look at some silos. And um, then to Hyde to have a look at the wave rock, which is 240 billion years old. So there's give or take a few so Wave rock is uh, hippo mouth rock, and there's a salt salt lake, magic lake as well. Yeah. So we'll um, finish that, uh, that little, uh, those little gems. Alright, see ya. March flies. So we're just here at the uh, Ravenclaw Silos, and a little bit of history about the silos. And there's a silo trail. Got him. Two thousand sixteen. Fifty liters of wheels. There he is on the silo. Looks more like that. So this art is actually is Albany. It's the furthest east in Australia of this silo. Oh not of this particular silo trail anyway. Different stages of the cycle at the back. Banksia tree, there you go. Stages of the Banksia tree. Well read, Mrs. You are well read. Bit, bit, is a bit, bit smelly. I don't know if this is fertilizer, but yeah, yeah whatever it is, it's not me because it's pongy over here too. It's not you. Let's have a look on the other side. Look what we 
this is. It's a truck we can play with. But you're not getting out because it's not very nice, is it? It's raining. It's spitting. There it is. Truck hanging off the edge. Stuck in the middle. I'm coming inside on one can out. Just stay for a little. You say as you close the door behind me. Wave Rock Free Camp, or Bush, not Free Camp, Bush Camp. Um, it's just at uh, basic Wave Rock, so there's a whole heap of um, sites to see in here. We'll bring you a few of those over the next few days, but yeah, this is us. Um, just want to show these facilities. They're pretty schmick, eh, for a bush camp. That's us over there. So this is a toilet, Mendy's block. So as of um, 1st of April, you can actually have a fire as well. And um, yeah, so full flushing toilets, 1st of April. Have a fire, except it's uh, raining. That's a really good setup. So uh, there's uh, yeah, about uh, 15 sites, I think, all the way around. And um, so this is easy access, about 20 k's from the, the rock and the uh, salt lakes, and um, all those sites that we're going to see. Um, Hippo Mouth Rock as well. So we'll do all that tomorrow and bring you that. But, yeah, not real good weather for a fire, but yeah, it's supposed to get fine up tomorrow. So just in the way of Rock Township, there's not much um, here, but it's uh, on Main Street anyway. But there's a, a few sites to see about the town's history and uh, where we are and what's around us. Hiding there. And that's where we've come from. We come from Esperance that way. We're going to keep going away, all the way to Perth. And that's where we are down there on the map. And uh, I'll just show you this pictorial. Well, it's a street art, a timeline of the era of development and um, very clever, very clever, this bloke who's uh, built all this together. And uh, basically it's, um, it's a um, art form of uh, old farmyard equipment that's been welded together to represent a certain era of the development over the time of Hyden. 2003, the Hyden Progress Association were responsible for it, so there's quite a few that put all this together. So there's... Heidi and Trost is a story to each of these, um, each of these uh, bit of art. Sandalwood cutter, John Hyde. Oh, that's Sparky, the echidna. Milo, so the early surveyors who came out here. And there's his maps, early settler Mick. Mick Marotes. There's Hilda and Harry, so this is indicative of the women of the time who basically brought up the children and uh, made their money cooking for the shearers. Um, speaking of the shearers, here they are. Old Don and Nigel. There you go, before the mechanic uh, mechanised the uh, shearing process. Yeah. Carolina and Marco, so the early settlers, um, immigrants who came over, second wave of Italians during the, oh, wave of Italians during the Second World War. Joining the mechanic, there he is. 1960s, when this area boomed. This is uh, indicative of an accommodation of the time. Dave and Bazza. So they didn't realise um, how bad uh, the situation was here. They didn't have um, water on here until 2000. Until then they had a, a big dam that people used to go and bucket it out of. This was the early form of electricity, so this was 1969, they didn't um, have electricity, so uh, Hayden's, Hayden's first power station. There we are, that's how it rolled. And this is Rust and his bus, so once they found a way of rock, that's when tourism started to boom here, and then Russ uh, used to bring the tourists out to show them around. Russ and his bus. There you go. And this is how they used to do tours, hide and taxi, in 1929, 1930. Yes. So I'll just um, put the drone up and have a have a quick look at the town because there's about 400 people here, and during a 12 month period, uh, they get about 140,000 um, tourists coming through.
So just trying something here at Wave Rock. So Mrs. is gonna be doing the posing. Um, so this is what I'm doing. And there she is. So I'm filming with this and talking to this, so I don't know. I think you're gonna go over there a bit, yeah. Oh, the colours, so we're gonna come back three or four times tomorrow just because the colours change throughout the day. How good is this, missus? Um, Camp Wave Rock. Mrs. is just getting some nibbles together and for the first time in a couple of months we've got our fire going. How good is that? Bit of wet wood though, bit of smoke. Oh, we might need some more wood on the fire, love. Alright, hurry up with that gin. I'm just showing him your measure and my measure because I'm the gin maker and um, kitchen's uh, as it is on a Saturday night, she's a bit of a mess. There's Mrs's glass, there's mine. And that's my measure. And this is Mrs's measure. No, it's actually under there, but uh, she likes a good measure of the old uh, Bombay Sapphire. So, uh, yeah, there you go. So, it's Saturday night. Saturday night, gents, because we didn't have them last night. How's the serenity, Mrs? <laughs> you keep it Bit cloudy tonight. Bears, nibbles, bit of you too, and fire. How's that? Well, hello. This is what we're doing this morning. We're still in hiding. I'll yeah. just show you this. We're going to do the 19k drive out to the Humps and Malkus Cave. We're going to come back. And we're going to get on the push bikes and we're going to do the uh, wave rock and hippo's yawn. That's the full things. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's a bit, bit cloudy. Well, Anything else, Mrs? Magic Lake. But um, I don't know. We're not going to swim in it. It's worth a look. So, Magic Lake. So, it's uh, in magic in, in supposedly with healing properties and has um, more salt concentration than um, the Dead Sea, apparently. So we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at Magic Lake. Not sure which way that is, that wasn't on that side. Mm. But uh, anyway, it'll be out this way somewhere because it all seems to be in the same area. So uh, yeah, Hyden, it's a, and I went into town yesterday, lovely little town. And um, I'm just gonna show you some footage of the Humps and Malkus Cave. These are all salmon gum. Salmon gums, that's what they are because of the colour. Mm. Yeah, it's salmon gum. Well, we've got our, got our walking boots on, Mrs. Hey, these boots, boots. Oh, shoes. shoes. Right. So we're doing the uh, Malka Cave walk and the Hump walk. So there's two two walks to this, this area. Um, so it's like we're coming up to the cave right now. And uh, those beautiful um, salmon coloured trees are called salmon gums. Oh, yeah. yeah, that we've just seen. So. Yeah, we'll show you the cave. <laughs> oh, just look at that, that up the top there. Yeah. That's where we're heading, to the top of those rocks. There's some people, little ants up there now. So this is Kalari Trail. This takes you up to the uh, humps. Yeah. 
Yes, there you go. A bit of water, might even see a bit of water flowing too because we've had a bit of rain. That'd be pretty. Cool. Cool. Where are we going? We have to do the loops of the, uh, the wave rock and... I don't know. Hippo? Hippo's gob. Hippo's gob. <laughs> I thought it was actually yawn, but gob will do. Yeah. And, and there's... Later. It's a loop. And it's about... Um, sure you know that... Um, the hippo yawn loop's about... or well, part of it's about 1.4k, so... Anyway, we'll... Uh, We'll get over there and we'll have a look and let them know. Alright. Here we are. You look so pretty. How are you riding along? They haven't put in a path through us, love, all the way to where I brook. How's that? Behind my back, talk it up, trash my name. I don't feel ashamed. My lust is easily misread. Once I get older, I'll have all these skeletons in my bed. Race the speed, lose track of time. I wanna stay now. i 
way on the other side. Yeah. So this is Magic Pools, love. So I've got to see if I can float. Yeah, you can just have a rinse off, that's what I'll do. There you go, so magic pools. They have their own shower, little shower units here as well. Bob's got to go in, because he can float. Float time. For free, I used to pay for this. <laughs> but we go and we run to the end and we run without shame. We own the game. Off. These are great, these little cubicles, aren't they? Just rinse off. Hey? Great, aren't they? I like the beer. Is that warm? No. Nah, it's cold. But still. It's fresh water. Yeah, yeah. little changing rooms. I don't think the hot water system is hooked up with the cubic. There is a, yeah, there is a thermal. Yeah. We're rolling, we're rolling just like we please. Ooh, getting caught in the so many that never get out of their feet in the fears and the doubts. Ooh, but we go and we run to the end and we run without shame. We own the game. Just talking about rain. 375 mils a year, that's all that Hyden gets. That's why it looks like this. There's high salt concentration. This is a Hyden Dam. Built and well connected, Mains Water was connected to Hyden in 2000. 23 years ago this was all built. Yeah, yeah. Bring your bucket. Poor old Hyden doesn't get much rain, so mm. you have it? to dam it, don't you? 370 mils a year. You could be forgiven to thinking you're on uh, Hularu. Except there's no fence like this on the road. So these waters, so this is all, um, this is all to uh, steer the water when it falls off the rock into the dam. That's part of the catchment design. There's the humps. Come on, missus. You can lift it. Push it over.
Well, it's goodbye to Hyden, missus. It was um, a lovely couple of days. So much to see here. It's a small little town, only 400 people. And um, yeah, Wave Rock, hump, hump, Hippo's Yawn, The Humps, um, Malkus. Malkus Cave. Malkus. M-U-L-U-L-K. Malkus Cave, yeah. But, um, yeah, to, and, and beautiful too because it's just lake. Magic Lake. We, oh, yes, how to swim Magic Lake and floated for the first time ever without noodles in water because the density of the salt is um, even more so than what the Dead Sea's got. So, um, yeah, can't sink front and back long in Delhi. So, yeah, great little spot. Two days and we stayed at the uh, short stay bush camp. Yeah, right at the short stay bush camp. So, yeah, make sure you know, give yourself a couple of days if you come here. Off to Perth now, then to see the boys. Woohoo! Now you're long gone.